Welcome to Forefront. We're so excited that you decided to join us. This video is going to walk you through all of the different sections here inside of Forefront to make sure that you know what you need to to get started. This first page that you come to, this is our pipeline. And this is just like a visual uh, whiteboard that you'll see in most offices. Now the cool thing is, is that we have these statuses up top but you can also completely customize this for how your business works. And you can come in, you can simply click on any of these little dots if you need to. This will change uh, certain things up for this status if you want to. You can actually assign text messages to go out when a lead comes in here, or you can actually create an entire new status just by clicking this new status and placing it wherever you want inside of the system. Up here, you'll actually see the notifications. Uh, and this is just gonna notify you of all the things that you have selected, which you can select that here if you come to profile. And now you can see all of the different things that you can be notified about. And you can also see the different ways that you can as well. This is also gonna be where you come in to change any email addresses, change your passwords. This is where you can select an end of day report if you're the owner of, of the company. And this is just basically a report that gets sent out, as it says, at the end of the day and lets you know what's happened here inside of Forefront for your team. Uh, you can also come up here to add new users to the, to your account and then also this is where you can change billing information if you need. If you need to add a new lead manually, just click the add new lead button. Um, these are all filters for this pipeline and you can uh, filter out any uh, specific way that you want to. You can filter out by strategies, campaigns, temperature, and even when it was updated. So. Uh, that's a really super uh, handy way to get through that. Um, this up here, this is the North Star metric, and this is just letting you know how many deals this month have you actually gone ahead and said are deals. And the way that you do this is actually here inside of the lead. Now, inside of a lead, you can see that there is a spot up here that says deal, and if you just simply click that toggle over, it'll go ahead and mark it as a deal for you. This is going to be where you do most of your work here inside of Forefront. Uh, you can see that we actually have uh, the property address here with uh, the Google Maps. If you actually hit this little toggle, it'll also pull up the street view as well. Um, here are lead details. These are standard um, and you can come in and just change anything that you need just by hitting this little uh, edit button and then you can come in and go ahead and take care of all that information. Uh, property details. This is going to be where you're going to fill out all of the basics. Lead info. This is fully customizable. You can actually go into your settings and create a workflow for your, uh, for your system. Um, how you guys like to do things, you can add in specific questions like, does this house have a bat cave? So these are things that you can go ahead and add here uh, inside of Lead Info. Uh, this center section, this is going to show you uh, who the seller is that's on the property. You can also add multiple people here and you can also add a buyer as well just by simply hitting uh, add the contact. Notes, text, and emails, basically this is exactly as it says. This is where you can come in, you can put a note in for your team, you can at mention them and they would be notified of that. You can send a text message out to them just by typing the message in here, then hitting send text. Emails the same way. And then call. What The way that call works is once you have connected your call rail account, uh, it will basically call, uh, have call rail call your phone and then call them, uh, the seller or the buyer, whoever you're trying to reach. Um, and go ahead and connect you that way and use your call rail minutes. Um, this is where you actually can select the number that that comes from, but we'll just leave this as the default one off of this campaign, which you can see over here is postcards. Anytime you do anything in this section, uh, or really if you fill out details anywhere in here, it's going to update this activity stream. And so you can see all, you can see notes, text, or anything that you want specifically. You can add leads into follow-up sequence just by coming here and clicking put in follow-up and that will uh, create a drip sequence for messages to go out um, and on your behalf and the cool thing is, is that the sellers don't know that it's being automatically done. Um, they will respond back to them and I promise you that if you are consistent with using follow-ups and tasks, which we'll talk about in just a second, then you will do more deals. Um, tasks is, as it says, it's just a simple task uh, checklist. Uh, I'll show you where you can actually find these so that daily you can go in and do your tasks. Uh, one tip that you can uh, you know, take to the bank is that if you have a future open task um, inside of a lead that is on your uh, task list to do, you won't forget it. So make sure that you do that. 
Uh, you can add appointments right here. Um, you can connect uh, Google Drive. Um, uh, you can basically connect to the folder just by clicking on this that you have connected. And then you can also add in buying and selling offers as well uh, to kind of help you um, keep uh, track of things. We have a couple of different buy types. We have fix and flip, and we also have wholesaling in here as well right now. So that's the main idea of the pipeline. Up next uh, is this is where you can see your task list. Um, and as I said, just the best uh, habit to always have is to make sure that you have a future task inside of every lead and you will not lose it. Either have that or else make sure that it's on a follow-up sequence. Any of your appointments can be viewed right here. All of the contacts are going to show up here in your system. Um, you can search by any. I've got myself in here right now. So let's see, Alan, and you can see right here I am. And if you actually go inside of this, you can see uh, we have um, uh, all the information up here, any custom details. This could be custom questions that I want to ask. Contact type is going to be, um, am I a buyer, am I a seller, am I things like that. You can also add tags in here um, as well. And then you also have an activity stream for this as well. The uh, lead section over here, this allows you to have one seller attached to multiple leads. So if you have somebody that calls in and says, hey, I've got five properties, you can connect them to all of those properties. The follow-up section right here, this is gonna be where you create your follow-up sequences, and you can see they uh, reach out for however long you really want. You can actually have them reach out for a few years if you wanted to with many, many steps. And then you can also see how many leads are in there, which if you wanted to click this button, you would see which leads are inside of that sequence. And you can also create new ones or manage them, uh, the ones that you have currently in here. Orphan leads, this is what happens when a lead uh, exits out of a follow-up sequence. You can either have it go into a different follow-up sequence or once it's done, it'll actually come here. And this is just a great place for you to go in and check and make sure that you don't have anything that's sitting there not being contacted. If this isn't a lead, you can go ahead and mark it that it's not a lead. Uh, but if, uh, if you wanna keep on reaching out to them, you can certainly click on to any of these and continue. Uh, you can put them back on your pipeline or put them back on a different sequence as well. Campaigns is, as it says, it's a place for you to create your different marketing campaigns. This allows you to track things over here in stats, which we'll show you in just a second. Uh, but this is just a great way for you really to know your, your ROI. You can see how many leads have come in that have been attached to those campaigns, and you can connect these via webhooks and phone numbers as well, so that anytime uh, a lead comes in from that specific web, webhook or that phone number, it will automatically tag it with that campaign. Stats over here. This is where you can see our leads uh, and deals uh, section. Um, and uh, we also have KPIs that you can come in. You can adjust these weekly goals and you can see if it is something that uh, is below what you are looking for or you can see if it's above just simply by the colors. Red obviously means below, green is good. And then we also have this funnel that you can come in and you can see the different campaigns that we have over here. And if you highlight, you can actually see how many leads uh, are part of each one of these steps. And obviously that's gonna get smaller as you go down through that funnel. And then the last section here is settings. This is where you can come in, you can add custom fields inside of the leads as I told you about earlier. Contact settings is where you can go ahead and you can add custom fields into the contacts. You can also add tags and then you can also create the specific types. Uh, and this is entirely up to you. You can go buyers, sellers, realtors, whatever you want and you can create different questions for each one of those as well. Uh, webhooks is going to be where we're going to connect things like your website, um, you know, Carrot, Lead Propeller, anything like that, Zapier, um, Lead Sherpa, Mojo. This is where you'll be able to, to connect those in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, call scripts, this is where you can actually go ahead and create uh, web forms uh, for people on uh, your team to where they can um, uh, go ahead and have a form that they can fill out that's not inside of the system. I'll click on this one uh, right here. You can see that it opens up a new window and a form that they can then fill out. And then once they submit it, it would go ahead and create a new lead. And this allows you to not have them inside of your system uh, as a user, um, but this would allow them to put that information in. So, uh, and you can basically tweak these however you want. Any question that's inside of the leads, 
you can add to that and you can also craft out questions as well so it's a great thing uh, it's one of our uh, most exciting features uh, snippets uh, this is where you can come in and you can create a snippet for notes emails or text and this is basically just so you can create a short code that will then populate some information that you routinely use uh, integrations this is going to be where you're going to connect Gmail uh, your Google Calendar and call rail as well and then imports and exports this is where you can import in um, any existing leads that you have you just simply download this CSV file and format your leads in that way um, and then exports if you want to take them out as well you can certainly do that so that was a really quick overview of Forefront if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us support at ForefrontCRM.com also be sure to book an onboarding session where we can walk through this in more details and ask and answer any questions that you might have so thanks and have a great day